Flagpoling is dead. New PGWP application process in Canada, 2024 update. Welcome back to Canada Chronicles. In today's video, we have an essential update on the PGWP post-graduation work permit process. Canada has recently eliminated flagpoling to make the system fairer and more efficient for international graduates. If you're planning to work in Canada after graduation, you won't want to miss this. We'll cover all the new changes and what you need to know to apply successfully. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's dive in. Canada has recently implemented a significant change to its immigration system aimed at fostering a smoother and more equitable process for international graduates seeking PGWPs. This change targets the elimination of a practice known as flagpoling, which has been identified as a potential hurdle for legitimate PGWP applicants. Unpacking flagpoling. A loophole for faster processing. Or so it seems. Flagpoling signifies a strategy employed by certain international students in Canada to potentially expedite the processing of their PGWP applications. This practice involves briefly departing from the country and then re-entering immediately, often at a land border crossing. The rationale behind this strategy stems from the perception that applications submitted from outside Canada might receive swifter processing compared to those submitted from within. Why does Canada disapprove of flagpoling? A multifaceted approach. The Canadian government has concluded that flagpoling not only serves no real purpose but also introduces an element of unfairness for genuine PGWP applicants who meticulously follow the established application procedures. This practice creates an uneven playing field, potentially causing delays for those who adhere to the proper channels. Here's a deeper exploration of the reasons behind Canada's decision. 1. Maintaining system integrity. Flagpoling undermines the integrity of the established PGWP application process. It creates a system where those who exploit loopholes may enjoy an advantage, while others who follow the rules face potential delays. 2. Resource allocation. Flagpoling diverts valuable resources away from legitimate applications. Processing these border-hopping applications consumes time and manpower from immigration officers who could be focusing on regular applications. 3. Logistical challenges. The influx of flagpolers creates logistical hurdles at border crossings, potentially leading to longer wait times for regular travelers and the general public seeking to enter Canada. Benefits of ending flagpoling. A win-win for applicants and the system. Eliminating flagpoling is anticipated to bring about several positive outcomes for PGWP applicants and the immigration system as a whole. 1. Reduce processing times. Streamlining the application process by discouraging flagpoling is expected to lead to generally shorter processing times for PGWP applications. This will benefit all applicants by expediting their ability to secure employment opportunities after graduation. 2. Enhanced fairness. By removing the flagpoling option, Canada is ensuring a more equitable system for all PGWP hopefuls. Applicants who diligently follow the proper procedures will no longer be disadvantaged by those who attempt to exploit loopholes. 3. Improved border efficiency. The elimination of flagpoling is also projected to contribute to a smoother and more efficient border crossing process. This will benefit not only PGWP applicants but also regular travelers entering Canada. 4. Resource optimization. By eliminating flagpoling, immigration officers can allocate their resources more effectively, focusing on processing genuine applications in a timely manner. Alternatives to flagpoling. Navigating the official PGWP application process. For international students seeking to work in Canada after graduation, there is no substitute for adhering to the official PGWP application guidelines. This well-defined process requires applicants to 1. Meet eligibility requirements. Applicants must fulfill specific criteria, including successfully completing a full-time study program at a designated learning institution, DLI, in Canada. These institutions are approved by the government to offer programs to international students. 2. Assemble a comprehensive application package. The application package must include all necessary documentation, such as proof of enrollment from the DLI they attended, official academic transcripts, a valid passport with sufficient remaining validity, proof of financial resources to support themselves during their intended work permit period. 3. Pay application fees. The applicable processing fees must be paid in full at the time of submission. By following these established steps, international graduates can increase their chances of receiving a PGWP approval without resorting to flagpoling or other questionable tactics. Planning for a successful PGWP application. Beyond the basics. 
Here are some crucial points for international students considering applying for a PGWP in Canada. 1. Start early. PGWP applications can take several months to process. It is essential to initiate the application process well in advance of graduation to ensure a seamless transition into the workforce after completing their studies. 2. Maintain valid status. International students must ensure they maintain a valid student status throughout their studies in Canada. This includes complying with all conditions outlined in their study permits, such as attending classes regularly and maintaining good academic standing. 3. Seek professional guidance. If you have any questions or require assistance with the PGWP application process, consulting with a licensed immigration professional is highly recommended. They can provide tailored advice and ensure your application adheres to all current regulations, maximizing your chances of a successful outcome. Understanding PGWP Application Processing Times A Realistic Timeline While eliminating flagpoling is expected to improve processing times, it's essential to have realistic expectations. PGWP processing times can vary depending on several factors, including Current application volume During peak application periods, processing times may take longer. Completeness of application Applications with missing documentation or errors might experience delays. Applicant's background. Additional checks for some applicants might extend processing times. To stay current on processing times, it's recommended to consult the official IRCC website. They provide updated information on expected processing times for different application types, including PGWPs. Staying informed about immigration updates. Navigating a dynamic system. The Canadian immigration system is subject to ongoing modifications. To stay abreast of the latest PGWP requirements and application procedures, it's recommended to consult the official website of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, IRCC. Here's a breakdown of the resources available. 1. IRCC Website The IRCC website is a comprehensive resource centre containing detailed information on all aspects of Canadian immigration, including PGWPs. It provides clear instructions on eligibility requirements, application procedures, and processing times. 2. Social media channels. IRCC maintains active social media channels on platforms like Twitter and Facebook. Following these channels allows you to receive updates and announcements regarding any changes to the PGWP program. 3. Subscription service. IRCC offers a subscription service where you can choose to receive updates on specific immigration topics, such as PGWPs. This is a convenient way to stay current on any policy or procedural changes that might impact your application. Building a future in Canada through the PGWP The Canadian government's decision to abolish flagpulling signifies a commitment to creating a fairer and more efficient PGWP application process. International graduates seeking to launch their careers in Canada are encouraged to familiarize themselves with the official application guidelines and seek guidance from qualified immigration professionals if needed. By adhering to the established procedures and planning well in advance, international students can position themselves for a successful PGWP application and contribute their skills and talents to the Canadian workforce. We hope this update on the PGWP process helps you navigate your path to working in Canada. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates and tips on living and working in Canada. Hit the bell icon to get notified whenever we post new content. As always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.